hello my dear friends welcome back to my channel and in this video i am continuing my discussion on absorption laws in my previous videos i discussed lambert's law and its mathematical expression and today i am going to discuss weir's law and its mathematical expression so friends the basic difference between the lambert's law and the weir's law is that in case of lambert's law we have a homogeneous absorbing medium it could be a pure liquid or any other homogeneous absorbing medium whereas in case of weir's law we have solution of an absorbing substance this means that a substance will be dissolved in some suitable solvent okay so now let us define weir's law so according to this law when a beam of monochromatic radiation is passed through a solution of an absorbing substance then the rate of decrease of intensity of the radiations with the thickness of the solution or the absorbing solution is proportional to the intensity of incident radiations as well as the concentration of the solution so in this case the rate of decrease of intensity is not only proportional to the intensity of incident radiations as we have in case of lambert's law what it is also proportional to the concentration of uh, absorbing solution this means that larger is the concentration of the solution more will be the decrease in the intensity because at higher concentration we have larger number of molecules of the substance in the solution and these molecules absorb light to a greater extent and the decrease in the intensity will be more and if the concentration is less then the decrease in the intensity will be less understood so now let us derive the mathematical expression for this law and to derive its mathematical expression i have considered solution of uh, so here we have solution of an absorbing substance and the intensity of incident radiation is i not before entering into the solution and after passing distance x through the solution the intensity of the radiation decreases to the value i okay and after this distance x uh, i have considered a very small thickness dx and after passing through this small thickness dx the intensity of the radiations further decreases by a very small amount minus di okay and as i have explained earlier is minus sign is there because the intensity is decreasing understood so now the rate of decrease of intensity rate of decrease of intensity with the thickness of the absorbing medium or absorbing solution will be equal to minus di upon dx and i have explained it when i was discussing the mathematical expression for the lambert's law okay so now according to weir's law the rate of decrease of intensity will be proportional to the concentration of the solution as well as to the intensity of incident radiations so this means that minus di upon dx it will be proportional to intensity of incident radiations i because in this case the intensity or we can say that for this thickness the intensity of incident radiation will be equal to i because before entering into this thickness what is the intensity it is equal to i so minus di upon dx is equal to, uh, proportional to i into c where c is the concentration of the solution and this equation will be further written like this that is minus di upon dx and it will be equal to epsilon epsilon ic okay where epsilon is a proportionality constant and let this is equation number 1 and let us rearrange this equation and after rearranging it will be or it will become that is di upon i and it will be equal to minus epsilon c into dx and let this is equation number 2 and we know that when x is equal to 0 then the intensity of the radiation is equal to i not that is when x is equal to 0 we have not entered into the solution then the intensity of the radiation is equal to i not and when x is equal to x then i is equal to i because 
after traveling distance x through the solution the intensity is reduced to value i so now what we will do we will integrate this equation number 2 between these limits and the limits for the thickness will be 0 to x and for the intensity will be i naught to i so let us integrate so integration of di upon i between the limits i naught to i and it is equal to minus epsilon c into integration of dx between the limits 0 to x and I have kept epsilon and the concentration out of the sign of integration because both are cons constant and concentration will also be constant and the integration of di upon i it will be equal to natural log of i limits are from i naught to i and minus epsilon c and integration of dx is x and limits 0 to x and it will be equal to natural log of i minus natural log of i naught that is upper limit minus lower limit and equal to minus epsilon into c x minus 0 and it will be equal to x okay and this equation will be further written natural log of i upon i naught and it is equal to minus epsilon cx and uh, that this is equation number 3 and from this equation we will have i upon i naught it is equal to e raised to power minus epsilon into cx let this is equation number 4 and from equation number 4 we have i is equal to i naught into e raised to power minus epsilon cx and this is equation number 5 and this is the first mathematical expression for the Weir's law okay and this uh, expression has a lot of significance this expression tells us that how the intensity of incident radiation i naught decreases to the value i with the thickness of the absorbing solution okay and we can calculate the value of i with the help of this equation okay what is i i is the intensity of the radiations after passing through the thickness x of the solution further if we consider that the total thickness of the solution is x okay uh, here we have considered that this is the total thickness of the solution understanding what i am saying i am saying that if the total thickness if the total thickness of solution is x then this i will be the intensity of transmitted radiations okay so uh, then I can say that we can also calculate the intensity of transmitted radiations with the help of this equation. Understood? Now let us calculate the intensity of absorbed radiations. So intensity of absorbed radiations or the intensity of radiations absorbed after thickness x after thickness x of the solution that is i absorbed it will be equal to i naught minus i because the intensity of the incident radiation is equal to i naught and the intensity left after the distance x is equal to i then what is the intensity absorbed or the intensity of the radiation absorbed it will be equal to i naught minus i and uh, let this is equation number six and, and now we will substitute the value of i from equation number five here then i absorbed it will be equal to i naught minus i naught into e raised to power epsilon cx and i absorbed is equal to i naught into 1 minus e raised to power minus epsilon 
cx that this is equation number 7 okay and equation number 5 also tells us that the intensity of the radiation decreases exponentially with the thickness of the absorbing solution as well as the concentration of the solution and I have explained that what is exponential decrease while I was explaining the mathematical expression of the Lambert's law and I will also share the link of that video in the description box and you can see that video okay so friends now the equation number this uh, equation number three this equation number three can be written in another form so let us write it what we will do we will convert the natural log into the log base to the 10 so it will become that is 2.303 log of i upon i naught and it is equal to minus epsilon into cx and uh, from here log of i naught upon i it will be equal to minus epsilon upon 2.303 into cx and log of i upon i naught is, is equal to minus epsilon prime into cx where epsilon prime is another constant and it is equal to epsilon divided by 2.303 and from this equation we will have i upon i naught is equal to 10 raised to power minus epsilon prime cx because here the base of the log is 10 and here the base of the log is e that's why and it will i from here i will be equal to i naught into 10 raised to power minus epsilon cx so this is another expression for the Bayer's law or mathematical expression for the Bayer's law understood so now this epsilon prime which is equal to epsilon divided by 2.303 is called as is called as molar extinction coefficient is called as molar extinction coefficient or molar absorptivity of the solution okay and now let us uh, discuss its physical significance so, and its physical sig uh, significance will be discussed with the help of uh, this equation okay and uh, from this equation from this equation we have epsilon prime is equal to uh, minus 1 upon cx log of i upon i naught okay and this equation will be further written like this epsilon prime is equal to 1 upon cx log of i naught upon i okay and we know that and I have explained it earlier that when we in invert this term or we reciprocate this term then the uh, minus sign becomes plus. So from this equation from this equation this epsilon prime it will be equal to 1 upon x okay if the concentration is equal to one molar that is one mole of the solute is dissolved or the substance is dissolved per mole, uh, per liter of the solution and log of i naught upon i is equal to one okay that is if 
this log of i naught upon i is equal to 1 and c is also equal to 1 molar then the epsilon prime it will be equal to 1 upon x and this log of i naught upon i will be equal to 1 when i naught upon i it is equal to 10 because log 10 is equal to 1 and from here we will have i is equal to 1 tenth of i naught now we can define this molar extinction or coefficient or the molar absorptivity and it will be defined as that it is the reciprocal of that thickness of the solution and the concentration of solution will be equal to one molar so it is the reciprocal of that thickness of the solution having concentration equal to one molar after passing through which the intensity of the radiation reduces to one tenth of its initial value okay so let us write that what is molar absorptivity it is the it is the reciprocal of that thickness of the solution having concentration one molar having concentration one molar after passing through which after passing through which the intensity of the radiations the intensity of the radiations reduces or decreases to 1 by 10th of its initial value okay so this is the physical significance and the definition of this molar extinction coefficient or molar absorptivity so friend this is all about the mathematical expression for the Weir's law and in my next video I am going to discuss very common and very important spectrophotometric terms like transmittance uh, absorbance and I will also discuss this molar extinction coefficient or absorptivity in some more detail so keep watching my videos like and share my videos and subscribe my channel thank you very much